Welcome to the Celebrity Apex. I'm going to do a full tour. This is Jason here. You're going to love this tour. We're going to take it deck by deck. So we're going to take a look at all the public areas. We're going to go ahead and start off in the main pool area. I really like this pool area. It's one of the biggest pools that you're going to find on a cruise ship. A celebrity pool is extremely tranquil. There is music, fun, and dancing, but it's more relaxing. There are plenty of chairs, places to sit and relax and have a good time. Over here is the bar and you'll like it. It has comfortable bar stools, a counter which overlooks the pool and plenty of places to sit and relax. There are a couple of places where you can hang out at the pool. You can either grab a chair with a view of the pool or you can come on over here and grab a chair which has a perfect view of the ocean out here. It's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and go up the jogging track and take a look at the whirlpools. They're in the shape of champagne glasses and there are two of them. They have excellent views of the pool and the ocean. At nighttime, the lights come on and it looks beautiful. And keep in mind, they have fun dance parties out here in the evening. Let's head on in to the buffet area. This is the Ocean View Cafe. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. When you first walk in, if you look over to the right, you'll see scoops where you can get a delicious ice cream. Over to the left is El Segundo Bacho. This is the specialty coffee bar. The buffet area is complimentary, so it's included in your cruise fare. Folks, keep in mind that the Celebrity Edge, Apex, and the Celebrity Beyond are all similar. They're sister ships. And if you want to book either one, make sure you give me a call. You'll be so glad you did. Our clients love it when they call us because as what we do is we offer exclusive discounts on your cabin. We also offer you all the promotions that Celebrity offers you. But in addition, we're going to give you that exclusive promotion. And we do this in many different ways. We have our own group space. Celebrity actually provides us with our own exclusive incentives that we can offer you and we give you our own agency discount. Keep in mind, to get the discount, you must give us a call. These are unpublished rates. This is the Magic Carpet. It's a favorite among cruisers. It hangs over the side of the ship. It's on either deck 5, 15, or 16. It can move up and down. It's an excellent spot to grab a drink and relax. The Magic Carpet is also a restaurant. It will go down to deck five and act as the overflow for the seafood restaurant. Now, on certain nights, it'll be up on deck 15 and you can dine out there. But here's my recommendation. Make sure you make a reservation because it fills up pretty quick. It also acts as the ship's tender. So check this out. When you go to a port that doesn't have a pier, the magic carpet is going to go all the way down to the water and you're going to go from the magic carpet on to the tender. It's amazing. Let's head back up to the pool deck. Let's take a look at the cabanas. This is an exclusive area for guests who have reserved and rented the space. It's a really cool relaxing area to hang out in on a sea day. You can also get your drinks pre-ordered so a bottle could be waiting for you. This is the Mass Grill. Here you can get a delicious burger, hot dog, a nice drink. You can sit right over here. It's right around the corner from the pool. Let's take a look at the solarium. The solarium is completely enclosed, which is really nice because they can control all of the elements. The solarium is a nice place to relax in the pool, get into the whirlpool. They have comfortable chairs and they offer perfect views of the ocean. It's an excellent spot to hang out in while you're leaving port. Over here in the corner of the solarium is the Spa Cafe. In the morning, you can grab a nice, healthy breakfast or a delicious smoothie. Let's head on over to the rooftop garden. This is all the way in the back of the ship. At nighttime, you can come here and dine. It's a restaurant. I recommend getting the delicious cookie as a dessert. Also, during the day and in the evening, there will be events held here such as sporting events, dancing, live music, and movies. This is the Sunset Bar. This is all the way at the back of the ship. It has perfect views of the ocean and the sunset. It is the perfect spot to grab an early evening drink. You can either sit up at the bar or you can grab one of these comfortable sofas right here. Let's head on over to deck 12. We're gonna go more toward the front of the ship. This right here is 
The Lumini. This restaurant is exclusive for guests who have booked suites. It's really cool. It's an upscale restaurant. It has beautiful views of the ocean. And if you book a suite, this is where you'll most likely be dining. Another place that you can hang out if you book a suite is the Retreat Lounge. Here you'll find a bar, comfortable sofas and chairs, views of the ocean, and they also offer snacks. It's an excellent spot to hang out in in the early evening, grab a nice glass of wine, hang out on the deck, and enjoy the views. Over here is the Retreat Sun Deck. This area is also exclusive for guests who have booked in suites. Yes, there are many amenities available for guests who book suites. The Retreat Sun Deck has a bar, a pool, whirlpools, comfortable chairs, but what a lot of guests like about it most of all is that it has an excellent view of the front of the ship. Another favorite spot here at the Sun Deck is the bar. You can relax at one of the bar stools, sit in one of the tables, you can order a wide variety of drinks and food up here. Let's head on down to the lower decks. We're gonna go to deck three. This is the Grand Plaza and the heart of the ship. While you're on board, you'll definitely stop by and grab a martini at the Martini Bar. Here you'll enjoy live music and a wide variety of entertainment. Take a look at this. A deck above, the Martini Bar is Cafe El Bacio, where you can enjoy a nice tasty treat, a specialty coffee, or a specialty tea. There are plenty of places to sit down and relax and enjoy the view. Over here is La Grande Bistro. This is the French restaurant where you can enjoy Le Petit Chef, which is an animated show that you can enjoy on your table coming from the ceiling while enjoying your meal. Right next to Le Grand Bistro is the Casino Bar. I love to stop in here and grab a drink before I hit the casino. You can also enjoy sports here on the big TV or just sit back and relax and enjoy the music from the Grand Plaza. If you head on through here, you're gonna go right through the casino and right next to the casino are all the shops. So we're headed toward the back of the ship as what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the main dining venues all these dining venues back here are complimentary. Let's head on into Cyprus. This is the Greek restaurant. The cool thing about the dining on Celebrity is that you can come on in whenever you like. Right across the way here is Cosmopolitan. This is also part of the complimentary dining. Down the stairs, one deck down is Tuscan. This is the Italian restaurant. One thing I like about the Italian restaurant is that when you sit down, they're gonna serve you bread and oil right away. Across the hall is Normandy. That is the complimentary French dining restaurant. So yes, you heard right, there are two French dining restaurants on board. There is La Grande Bistro, which is specialty, and Normandy, which is included in your cruise fare. Another specialty restaurant is Raw on Five. The way the specialty works, which is different from the complimentary, is that there is an additional charge. But check this out. Celebrity offers amazing dining packages, and a lot of times they're included in your cruise fare. So when you call us, make sure you ask us about it. Let's go in to Fine Cut Steakhouse. This is also part of the specialty dining. Check it out, folks, is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a link down below the description of the video, which will show you the difference between specialty and complimentary and give you the pricing. Let's head on through this little tunnel. This is a perfect spot for a selfie. A lot of people like to go through here and take pictures. When you come out the other side, we're gonna go into Blue. This is also another exclusive dining venue. This is specifically for guests who booked in aqua suites. We're gonna head all the way to the back of the ship. We're gonna go into Eden. When you think about Eden, I want you to think about a nice place to relax and chill. There are nice chairs all throughout the entire establishment. There's a restaurant all the way here at the back, which has panoramic views. The restaurant is part of the specialty dining and it is highly recommended. Throughout the cruise, there will be a lot of entertainment back here. When you get on board, make sure you download their app. It's a good idea to download their app before you get on board so that you can do your online check-in via your telephone because you're not going to want to miss anything back here and all the activities and all the shows that are going to take place on the entire ship will be on that app. Keep in mind that you can also have breakfast and lunch right here at the buffet area. 
Let's head back over toward the front of the ship. This is the photo gallery. This is where you'll see the pictures that the photographers took of you. This is future cruise. You can book your next cruise right here on board. If you do, they will give you an excellent incentive. This is the club. This is where at night you're gonna get your groove on. It's a two-story club. There are tables and chairs on the lower and the upper decks. There are nice sofas where you can sit back, relax, and enjoy a drink. And during the day, they'll offer a wide variety of activities here. Let's head on all the way to the front of the ship. This is the theater. It spans two decks and you'll enjoy amazing shows here. This is the eye lounge. This is where you're gonna go if you have any problems connecting to the internet. Right in front of the eye lounge is guest services. If you have any questions, just head on over here. They'll help you out with whatever you need. Let's head on in to the spa. When you first walk into the spa, you're gonna see the salon. Ladies, if you need to get your hair done or your nails done, you can head on over here. Just make sure you make an appointment. Gentlemen, if you need to get a haircut or a beard trim, you can go on over here to the barbershop. If you'd like to have a nice, relaxing sea day, hang out in the thermal suites. There are plenty of cool places where you can just enjoy the day here. They have heated chairs in the front with panoramic views. There's a salt room over here, which is perfect for the skin and the respiratory system. There are a couple of steam rooms right around the corner. There is the Turkish bath and the aroma mist, which are excellent for the sinuses. Over here is the sauna if you want to get out all those toxins. So after you hang out at the martini bar and you need to get a refresh, head on over to the thermal suites and jump in the sauna. Keep in mind that you will need a day or a weekly pass to go in to the thermal suites. Let's head on into the fitness center. Here you'll find treadmills, stairmasters, plenty of machines, free weights, they also offer yoga classes and spin classes. Make sure you come on in here the first day of the cruise. Folks, thank you for joining me on the tour. My name is Jason. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed. Give me a call. My number is right there on the screen. Have a wonderful day.